Wow. Yeah. It's kind of day the, the people's bets having. I tell you, it's it's, uh, uh, it's reggae. It, it's reggae time. Dancing in the streets. Breeders Cup. It's Breeders Cup. D Huff and Nasty style. Welcome back to the D Huff and Nasty show. Well, folks, this is a Breeders Cup Saturday races. One part of this equation is on fire. The other one, not so much. It's a little bright in here. Let's, let's turn some lights. Let's, let's, let's take it down a notch for the kids. You can guess which one it is. The people's bed is hot, folks. The people's bed is hot. That's all I'm saying. But our, our wagers are hot. People's bets are hot. But we don't got any time. You know what? Let's just turn. You know what? Let's, we're going to do something different today. Let's turn our computers off. Let's just turn them off. Just turn them How off. That's that? right. How about that? That's even better yet. We're going to get you right. We're going to get what, what you need right off the bat. We're not right into it. We got uh, Breeders' Cup Saturday tomorrow. Breeders First of all, congratulations to Royal Delta and all the other undercard races. Royal Delta won the uh, Ladies Classic. Stylish filly. Stylish animal. Older animal. I'm going to congratulate Zagora. Well, Zagora, <laughs> we thought got my colleague D. Huff some big money, but it wasn't quite as much as we thought. So We were um, partying for a minute. Wow, we were at the girls' volleyball game. We thought we won a nine. We thought we, thought we, thought we hit I a grand. I was around the court. <laughs> we thought we hit for a grand, but we didn't. So uh, Anyway, let's dive into this, this Saturday. I tell All you, right. if you think it was tough on uh, Friday, whew, the foreigners were doing well. The foreign shippings were doing pretty well. So. Yeah, imagine that, the uh, chic. But uh, we start out right off the way. Again, people's pick. He gives you the smaller, sort of uh, more uh, economical wager. Uh, but his return is much better than mine, uh, and I try to get you the long ball, long ball in the pick three and pick four sequence. So we got one pick four in the first four races of the uh, Breeders' Cup here on Saturday, and then we got uh, I got a pick three for you in the middle that uh, will get you going. But we're gonna go right into it. First race of the Breeders' Cup series is race four at Santa Anita. It's one mile on that luscious tourse, turf course. Pardon me. It, it looked nice so, today. Um, I got an interesting horse for you in this one, but uh, where, where, did you, where, 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 did you, where did you side in this one? <laughs> I started off. I'm telling you, dude, I'm going. I, you're not going you know, to like the picks, but I'm going with the 11. Joe Tama, Talamo. That's Talamo. Talamo. But, uh, it's okay. We, we, it's okay. He's we, actually the leading jockey. As long as they win, it doesn't matter. How He's the leading us. jockey at San Diego. That's so. right. But that's what I'm saying. So it, dry summer. Dry summer. I like it. He is uh, from any given Sunday. Two fifty last time out. Did yes, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure about that race at San Anita. That'd be the only concern about I that. I think one. that was a janky so. one. I think he donked off that one. Okay, yeah, no rally. So what's the people's pick? It's the race eleven time? over six ten thirteen. Six ten thirteen. Well, I want to talk about this ten horse a little bit because I actually like it. this ten horse a lot. Okay. Uh, he is coming out of the Breeders' Cup uh, future. Uh, Four hundred thousand. We were out there that day. I don't remember if you remember that. Yep. He won that race easy. He won by a length, but he could have won it easier than that. I remember it because Michael Maker. I remember we were talking to Michael and also Raheem Marah did one of these numbers. He looked around to see if there's any competition and he just So I'm, I'm using that and that's one of the ones I like. And then on, uh, on the inside, uh, in the insider, sure. uh, I like Rafael Bajerano in this uh, four horse as a, as a long price. Of course, we had we saw our spring in the air go from uh, potentially 15 to 20 to 1 down to 7 to 2 race time today. He was didn't, 15 didn't win, though. here. Yeah, he was 15. He didn't win, though. But uh, I think Rafael Bejarano on this four on the inside might be the, might be a closing race for us. Look what he did last time, and guess where he was? Santa Anita. Rafael's yep. the best jockey out there. I think he I think he gets a hot pace to run at. I think he might get a price on that one. So anyway, people's wager on that one is what? Eleven with the six, ten, thirteen. Eleven over the six, ten, thirteen. Six, yes. ten, thirteen. It'll cost you three dollars. I feel that you're. My guy's getting a huge return on his investment lately. So uh, stay tuned with that. That's the mile, and then we uh, move on to race five in this one, uh, which is the second Breeders' Cup. The second Breeders' Cup race on the card. This is the uh, woo. The that's, that's my. That's my. That's the Swifty Bringer. We might want to check that before we get to the last four races, but we'll get back with that. Um, Brain again, we'll start with you. Uh, who, uh, this is this. There's a freak in this race. There's there a is. freak in this race. We there saw is. this horse run. We saw this horse run again out of Keeneland as we were out there preparing for this for the last month. Well, what happens if the freak don't run? Well, some would say there's a bounce potential, but look at this. Look at this animal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Third race off the layoff. Yep. Look at the last three workouts. The best of 63, the best of 35, the best of 19. Bullet, bullet, bullet. He's a monster. That's why he's... It, she is a monster. Pardon me. I don't give genetics out to uh, gender out to the horses. I just say it, but that's a female. It's my single. That's all I've got to say about this. I, I, I don't like to single the, the, the dead chalk, but I think in this particular race, seven furlongs... It's the right distance. It'd be four to five tomorrow. It'd be four to five, but in the Breeders' Cup, when we do the whole thing, it's not going to matter. No. Go, well, tell me what you're going with here. I've got him on top, her on top, I mean. 
going for the short one, but we'll yeah, take it. Right? I got an interesting bet because okay, I found out see. something today. All right, tell me what you got. Uh, it's still the same. It's the nine with the three six eight with three six eight ten. That that's going to cost you four fifty. Four fifty, right? Because of that extra horse. But three six eight ten. Why not throw the extra ten in? Four fifty. The ten, the ten has potential to be third. I like where you're at with that. Again, nine with the, over the three six eight, which is you, Groupie Doll. William Bradley was in the paddock the other day. We were talking to him a little bit, and he loves the horse. Yep. Anytime you see a trainer that, that says he loves his horse, you know, in the Breeders' Cup races especially, usually they're humble. In the Breeders' Cup races, if you talk to him, we talked to Zito today. He's not even out there. Why are they humble? Now it's a suspicion. Yeah, no, because they don't want you to bet on them because they don't want the price to go down. But I don't think it's good. <laughs> Those guys, they don't, they don't care about betting. Those kind of animals, they, they, the people, they, they don't care about that with their betting. Because every time the Groupie Dawes ran, he's been... I, know, I was just throwing out. Take a look at it this. It was a funny. But it, it, was, it well, wasn't that funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. So anyway, we're, we're, but on a side note, if you're going long ball in this race, I got a horse that might be, get there. If Groupie Doll doesn't fire, I say take a shot on the five horse on the inside, Mike Smith again. Long ball, he's a closer. There's a lot of speed in that race. There's and a again, lot of speed and in again, that race. So you might you might get a little value there. A lot. Um, but I, I just don't think you beat Groupie Doll unless he unless he unless she just doesn't want to fire. As simple as that. As simple as that. And Rahi's kinda cute for a Pakistani. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> not to not to not to get weird or anything. But anyway, so we got on the race on the race six. We talk here. about all countries. Uh, but real that's quick, let me see. Okay, that's six, seven, eight. This starts my first pick three, and I'll give you the pick four for the sequence when we're finished with the this first part. This is the dirt mile. This is the Breeders' Cup dirt mile. It's a million dollars for three year olds and upwards. One million. These are boys. These are big dad bad boys, and again, uh, we have we have the, the resurgence of our old friend Shackelford with the Romans connections. Yeah, you know, uh, what's he doing? What's he going to do? Well, he could be a bouncer, or he could run his, like, two back. He runs in the $400,000 race. He yeah, he chomped out. But that was also mud, D. Huff. Yep. He's never been known to run in the mud or the slop. He's I'm, not a I'm, I'm using him. The horse to beat in this race for me is MC. And it's not going to rain tomorrow, right? No. It's not going to rain in California. That's it's going to rain local here in the... That's all I care uh, about. We gotta, that's enough. Yeah, we'll talk about that, too. But uh, MC... Um, and then I'll give you an outside horse I like in this one, and that's the, it's actually the inside post, um, the rail trip for Jose Valdivia Jr. and Ronnie Ellis. I just I like the way this horse has run out west. He lo he loves it loves it out there. He runs in the Pacific Classic, two races back for a million dollars. Yep. Uh, so he's run against some good ones. He ran against Doolahan. He ran against Game On Dude. Game On Dude is is a big favorite in the Classic. Um, big. What's your what's the people's wager in this one? I'm throwing the seven out. I don't wow. think he's not going to be there. D Huff's not going to go with the seven. Interesting. I oh, do have. I have two different bets. Okay, let's Sorry. see it. Let's hear it. First one is Shackleford, the six, with the one five eight. One five eight. You gotcha. The other one is the. I'm going with the five. You go on, the, on top of three six. Biz, seven. Biz. You, what's that guy's name again? Joseph. That's Talamo. Talamo. Yeah, that's our buddy Talamo. Talamo. <laughs> All right. So, I got that what, so what is the other one then? This one is going straight Asian. up the other he's actually, side. He's actually <laughs> Cajun. But I mean, what, Cajun Asian. Just throw some sort of racial slur. Just, like, just throw some sort of racial slur out the, the, the consummate. And what's the slur? Anyway, so tell me what this other bet is. The other bet is. To I'm going, going totally off key on the people's opposite back. side. You're because the, You're getting in the people's back pockets here with these with these. Yeah, bets. I mean, God bless. You bet. You pay seven dollars. He said four fifty. Four fifty. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, the other one's three dollars. So it's seven fifty. What are you saying, I got the five with the three six seven. Three six seven eight. Nice. I like it. There it's it is. Completely it's opposite of what it is. Rangers. But it's got some long ball in there. And I've so. got. Uh, I I use that, and I'll come back and do my pick four at the end. Yes. Uh, we have two more races to do in this first sequence. This one is the one million dollar Breeders' Cup Turf Sprint. This is always an interesting race because, as you can see, where they come, they come down the hill and around that crazy turn, and then hey, down over. the hill they come. <laughs> well, not exactly, but that's. Uh, <laughs> you guys been on the Mountain Dew tonight, so look out. Uh, and then they go across the dirt track. They cut across the dirt track, and it's the strangest. It's the strangest thing, but it's very Is there interesting. School bus involved? I mean, Jesus, might as well. I mean, dirt, you run across tracks, downhill. I'm trying to think where you're going with this joke, D. Let me see if I can get it. Figure eights, dirt, turf. I mean, they're all over the place. Are they going to run into the there? school bus? I don't know where the school I don't bus. Know. is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about handicapping. <laughs> 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 joke, joke picking is not your is not your specialty. Uh, so we're doing a late. This is an unusual situation. We're doing a late Friday night show. We're in the studio. Exactly. We should be out partying. A late Friday night. But this show. is for you kids, not for us. Through the paddock. I'm broke. <laughs> Through the paddock. So anyway. third floor clubhouse. Anyway, so on I've to got what we're talking about. Race seven. Race seven. 
I've got the 13 unbridled note, unbridled song, going with the, somebody we know. Yeah, unbridled that, song. We met that one. Yep. Um, I'm going with him with Corey Nakatani aboard. It's, it's funny, you see there's a star on my, on the, uh, Oh, no, by the way, I have not seen anything he's done yet. We don't ever do that. Anyway, keep going, buddy. I go home. Let's go. That's All right. It's the people's major. With it's the three dollar major. I'm going, going with... yeah, but the, it's been hot. It's so been hot. Right. 13 over so the, the I'm going with the 13 over the 189. California flag. 13 over the 189 is the D Huff People's Choice Wager. By Talamo. Yes. He's on top of the one. Right. I got it. I got it. 13. Is Corey Nakatani? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's interesting because the one is my single in this pick, pick three. The sixth, seventh, and eighth races. Yeah. The last race, I went with the one, six, seven. The one is my single to the all button in the next race. But you haven't started. But I do. This is my, this is my situation. I like Unbridled's note as well on the outside. Yeah. I think that uh, the O'Brien, Joseph O'Brien, the, the shipper, the Australian horse, I uh -huh. think he's got a shot. And then there's a filly in this race. That doesn't happen. Not there's every a filly, misdirection, Ms. Direction. She might run backwards. And she might run crazy. But <laughs> if she runs, she runs. So that she's on, that's the 11 horse. If anybody wants to bet the uh, female, she might get it done. So Yeah. So, uh, again, the people's bet, 13 with 189, with 189. And uh, that's my single, California flag, Joseph Talamo in race 7. And then I have the all button in race eight. I'll tell you who I like in this if I wasn't using the all button. That means he has everybody. First, <laughs> you first. All right. Uh, I have two different bets here. Race eight. I have the first one. We got to go with Shanghai Bobby. The four. Todd Pletcher. We know the uh, we know the owners. Yeah, I've got a question mark behind that guy. We have to. We, we know the, the owners. Uh, we know the owners. There's personal touch with it, but. Uh, it's, I'm going with him on top of the one eight nine. Yes. Title contender. Fortify Power Broker. My other bet is one over the two four nine. One over the two four nine. Yes. We're giving the people a lot. We're, we're, we're giving them two, six six dollars. Yeah, I mean, come we're, on. We're giving them two bets every race then. Yeah. Well, I mean, you Ooh. know, if you can't spend six dollars <laughs> yeah. to win fifty or ten, depending. Uh, the lowest was twenty three so far. Yeah. I tell you, you're hot. You're hot, D Huff. But the people's bet is one, is an economical bet. It can be bet. It can be bet. It's $6. It's do you want to do another one? It's cheaper than the beer. Do another one. It'd be nine bucks then. The beers are seven bucks. Yeah. No, I'm good. You give them the information, that's two of them. That's so. all I need. So what were they? All that I got to let the four, the four, one. four one of the 189. Four of the 189. Right? Four over the 189. And again, you have to remember that it's impossible for both of these wagers to hit. Yeah, so you lose three dollars. So you can also do it for 450 if you add another horse to either one of them. According to the newest but arrangement, the main one is four over the one eight nine. That's the main one. Yes. All right. We saw that your secondary bet was actually lucrative yeah. earlier today. So maybe we should have given them that one. <laughs> so anyway, that's the four through eight races. I, uh, I like in that race. I like a lot of the same horses. I like the Power Broker. I'm actually thinking that Shanghai Bobby might bounce in that race. I've got an outside chance on the six horse Dynamic Sky. I like that one a bit. And then I really do like the, the title contender on the inside, the one. Martin Garcia. Bob Baffert. Um, re to refresh my pick four, the pick four will be uh, in the race four, will be four, six, ten, thirteen, with singling Groupie Doll in the fifth race. And then on the sixth, I have the one, six, seven, seventh race, one, eleven, thirteen, fourteen. All outside horses except for the one. That'll cost you 40 bucks. 40. And, and the pick three was going to cost you 13.50. For 53 dollars and 50 cents are my wagers for the early four through eight races of the Breeders' Cup. We're going to take a short little break here, and we'll be back. We got another show coming for the last four races and the Chaluki, the, the big ones, and the home race Chaluki.